Okay, so the SDX 1.0 is out right now and many people are complaining about this model that quality is downgraded. I agree with this, uh, but at the same point, I also consider that this is a really improved model. In some cases, it performs better and in some cases, it even performs worse. So in this video, I'm going to show you what are the best settings to get realistic results out of it. So we're going to mainly focus on the human faces just. Uh, let's dive into the video. So to get the realistic results from this model, three things that we have to keep in mind. First of all, the prompt length, then we have to focus on the style that we are selecting and then aspect ratio because the new SDXL 1.0 is really dependent on these three factors. So let's say I'm going to give it a prompt, photo of a woman and I will keep it on the no style and I will keep the default settings and uh, select the square one by one image and I'm not using any negative prompt. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to give it a same prompt with different aspect ratios. So I'm going to type the same prompt and I'm going to copy this prompt. So this time I'm going to select uh, the aspect ratio to cinematic and click on generate. I'm going to give it a same prompt and select the aspect ratio to the widescreen and then generate. And I'm going to do with all of uh, these images with the different aspect ratios. Okay, so our results are ready and you can see uh, this, these are the results from the aspect ratio of square images and this is the this is the first image where you can see the hands are messed up and this is the second image where you can see the faces are not visible like that uh, and this image is also not looking good and this is not looking good. So this was the result from the square images and then we go to the second generation where you can see these are the images. So this is a very wide aspect ratio so we have selected the cinematic aspect ratio. So you can see this is the first image and you, you can already see the difference in the uh, results and the quality. If I click on that and open it the new browser, you can see this is already looking much, much better. And this is the second image. So this one is looking more realistic image. So this one is the best image I would say in all of them. And you can see the details on the hairs and the eyes. Everything is looking spot on and this is already looking like a real picture. So you can see the difference between the aspect ratio. So if we change the aspect ratio, you can already see the difference in the results. So other two images, uh, I would say these are not looking good, but at least we have got two best images uh, from one generation. So these are the results from 16 by nine ratio. And this one is also working good. Just look at this. So this is the first image. This is the second image. This one is also looking good. This is the third image where you can see uh, the hands and everything is messed up. And this is the last image and this one is also a good image so this is the landscape aspect ratio you can see the skin is looking smooth uh, you can see the loss inequality but at least we have we got some better results so this is the first image you can see this is the second image this is the third image uh, i don't know what's going on with this image and this is the last image so you can see something uh, going on with the hands stable diffusion claiming that they are better with the hands but i i don't think so so this is the last aspect ratio where you can see the aspect ratio of 3 by 4. You can already see the results. See, this is the first image. This is the second image. This is the third image. This one is also a good image. And this is the fourth image. So I think best aspect ratios that you have to consider is 16 by 9 aspect ratio. So that was the first factor that affects your images in SDXL 1.0. Now we're gonna jump to the next factor that affects your generation is prompt length. So first of all, we're gonna type a very basic prompt uh, like we have used in the first image, a medium prompt, and then and then we're gonna type a lengthy prompt and we will compare the results from all of these prompts. So this one is a much more detailed prompt with bunch of keywords in it. Uh, so this one is a lengthy prompt, a photo of a woman wearing glasses and overcoat with deep blue eyes, 8K Aqua Vista and hyper realistic. So I added bunch of the keywords that we usually uh, do in our traditional prompting. So we're gonna compare all of the results. Okay, so our results are ready right now. So these are the results from the very basic prompt that we have used, just a photo of a woman. And you can see this image is looking good. Uh, not too good, but this one is looking really good. And you can see some kind of funkiness going with the hands. That's because uh, I didn't use any kind of negative prompt, but you can get some better results with negative prompts. And this one is a good image. You can see the details. The problem with Stable Diffusion 1.0 is they have downgraded some quality, uh, but still they worked on the skin textures and especially on the human faces, right? So this, these are the results from a basic prompt. And these are the results from the prompts with a medium length. And I typed the prompt overcoat and glasses, and you can see it just ignored the instructions. 
and uh, we can't see any kind of glasses in this image and this is the second image this is the third image where you can see the glasses but uh, the head is just smashed out and you can see this is the third image uh, this is acceptable image and these are the results from the image with a lengthy prompt and you can see the results I have typed the deep blue eyes and you can already see the deep blue eyes it get the instructions right and you can see the quality and change in quality so I think this is just because of the keywords that we have added like Aqua Vista and 8k even though stability AI claims that you don't need to add 8k and all that kind of keywords in it but I would say those keywords add some effect in it not too much but still it adds some kind of effect in it and you can already see the results so these are some really good results so now we're gonna play around with the styles that they have shared let's type the same prompt but with the different styles so i'm using the same prompt that we have used in our previous generation and i'm just going to change the style i'm gonna select the no style and generate then we're gonna select make sure to select the aspect ratio 16 by 9 and i'm gonna select photographic style and then in the last one i'm gonna select cinematic style because this works best with the photorealistic images so okay so our results are ready right now and you can see these are the images from uh, no style and you can see these are really good images already looking good images this one is a very good image but if we switch to the photorealistic you can already see the difference in the depth of field and you can see and the background and the bookie effect on the background everything is looking spot on i would say this one is really good image and look at this image this there is much uh, depth of field in the image and if we switch to the cinematic mode so these are the results from the cinematic and uh, just look at this amazing right so this is the second image this is the third image well look at this image a really good image uh, you get the texture of the clothes look at the skin texture uh, there is something going on with the eyeball but uh, i think we can fix this uh, so if you guys haven't watched my video on how to fix the AI generated faces i will leave the link of that video in the description below so you should definitely watch that out because that tool works like a magic and uh, this is the last image so these are the results from non-style these are the results from photographic style and these are the results from cinematic mode and you can see the difference in it so i would say you should definitely prefer these three styles if you want to generate human faces or you want to generate photorealistic images even i am not using any negative prompt but still i'm getting some better results with this so the conclusion is first of all you have to select the wider aspect ratio like 16 by 9 works best and uh, if we get to the prompts use straightforward prompts or if you want to add more depth in your images you should definitely go with the keywords like 8k aqua vista and all that stuff and the last thing that you want to select is styles and the best styles are photographic and the cinematic that works best with the human faces so these are the few things that i have learned using this model in past few days and uh, if you guys have any suggestions about this and if you guys uh, have learned something new to get more uh, realistic results and get more uh, good quality results out of it so make sure to share your thoughts in the comment section and that's it from this video and if you guys find this video helpful give it a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next one